Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Last night, Chelsea drew 1-1 with Real Madrid in the first leg of the semi-final stages of the Champions League. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing the game. We're going to be looking over key moments. We're going to be talking about how things are set up for next, next week's second leg encounter between these two teams. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated as always. But for now, let's get back to talking about last night's Champions League encounter where it was Zinedine Zidane versus Thomas Tuchel. It was Real Madrid taking on Chelsea, a Champions League encounter which had all the makings for a great night of Champions League football to watch. Whether your viewers uh, and supporters and fans of the two teams involved or whether as a neutral you're sat back and looking forward to watching a great spectacle and it turned out to be a very, very good game. Timo Werner had the earliest chance of the game where he really should have opened the score and he really should have done better from close range but Thibaut Courtois was equal to his effort on goal. Uh, but it wasn't long afterwards that the Blues did eventually take the lead and break the deadlock. A long ball over the top freed Christian Pulisic and he was composed enough to round the Real Madrid goalkeeper and coincidentally former Chelsea goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois and fire home into the net to give the Blues what could be come full time of next week a very important away goal of course. Uh, moments after the goal, Karim Benzema then hit the post for the home side before he then got himself on the score sheet and equalised for Madrid with a very lethal and very well taken finish from inside the penalty area to make it 1-1. The game was tight from there on out. Hakim Ziyech forced a simple save in the second half to, uh, from, to, from Courtois from a free kick, whilst at the other end, Rafael Varane headed just wide from a corner as the game finished 1-1 and sets it up very interestingly and very invitingly for next week's second leg encounter. Upon reflection and overall, I would say that this was a very interesting and tactical game to watch. A fascinating game in which Chelsea's game plan for the most part was executed very, very well. Uh, they dominated the opening 15 minutes or so. Werner, like I said, should have opened the scoring uh, during that time, but Pulisic eventually did just before the quarter hour mark. It was the perfect uh, start for the Blues to get the away goal and was a great way by Thomas Tuchel of setting up his side and to catch Real Madrid cold, not give them a chance to settle down, get the ball down and start playing. Um, and, and Chelsea achieved that goal. Chelsea achieved that goal of not only uh, catching Madrid cold, but also getting that away goal that that would have been their first objective of getting in this game. So it was a very, a very good start for them and a very executed game plan by the players and obviously the mastermind behind it in Thomas Tuchel, the Blues manager. And as we all know, that away goal could be a very important factor come the end of this game next week when, of course, we've seen so many times in the past, away goals have proven to be the factor that often carries teams through. We saw that with Tottenham a couple of years ago. We've seen that in this competition and in other uh, European competitions like the Europa League already, where away goals become a massive factor in games like this. So for Chelsea to get it was very important for them and they did very well in getting it. And, and like I say, executing their game plan pretty much to perfection the entirety of the game. But overall, in you know, Real Madrid weren't amazing. And a large part of that, I think we have to give credit to Chelsea for doing that. Their tactical approach to this game, they deserve a lot of credit for a great performance here and for obviously not letting Madrid play their usual way. If their finishing had been better, Chelsea's result here could have even been a lot better than what it was. But 1-1 one, one isn't a terrible result. It's a very good result for Chelsea. And we'll just have to see how they go into next week and how they control the game and how they go on and play the game there. But whilst Chelsea were impressive, and believe me, they were impressive, this game was a display of Tuchel's in-depth tactical management style. It's only fair that we highlight Real Madrid's deadly striker, Karim Benzema. He is simply 
amazing, isn't he? He was so close to equalising moments before he actually did go on and equalise for Madrid. And the goal he did score was such a great display of a lethal and well-taken strike. It was a proper uh, sharp striker's finish. It was a very good finish. I do often feel as though this guy is kind of underappreciated in world football. I do feel like he's kind of underrated a little bit and that he probably doesn't get mentioned enough or get the praise that he deserves when we talk about in great debates about who is like a top or elite striker. I feel like he constantly gets overshadowed by others and may perhaps get overlooked, but just look at this guy. He's 33 years of age. He scored 21 La Liga goals in 29 appearances. He is spearheading a Real Madrid title challenge. Whilst in the Champions League, he scored six goals in nine competition appearances. This guy deserves more respect and recognition than he's getting for his contribution to Real Madrid, not just this season, but overall in his career. He played very well last night in a team that wasn't quite up to it, wasn't quite up to the usual standard that we see from Madrid. And again, a large part of that is down to Chelsea's great uh, display and great plan that they executed very well. But Benzema is phenomenal. But now it all sets it up very invitingly, doesn't it, for next week's second leg encounter. And the question here is, where do you see it going? Where do you see the preview? Uh, how are you previewing this game and for me, well, looking at it going into the game, Chelsea of course have that important away goal. That was the objective that they went into this game with and of course next week they carry that important objective into the next game. They have an away goal which could be very important come the final whistle. So of course Madrid's first objective is to cancel out Chelsea's away goal and possibly put that back into their advantage. But as we've seen with Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea, breaking them down and scoring against them is easier said than done. Since his arrival back in January, Thomas Tuchel has very much improved Chelsea defensively. And I think that in this game, Madrid were just caught very much off guard by the opening 50 minutes in which Chelsea made a very fast and very intense start. And from there on out, Madrid didn't really recover properly. They didn't really create much in front of goal other than the two uh, efforts from Karim Benzema, of course, which I talked about. The one where he scores, of course, and the one where he hits the post moments before that. So I believe that it will be difficult. It will be difficult for both sides to... to uh, it, be like a, it will be like a very interesting and intriguing chess match, I believe, next week until maybe you get to the final... The, the final moments of the game where one team may have to go for it more than the other. Uh, Madrid will always have a chance though. Like I say, with Benzema up front, Madrid will always have a chance regardless of how poor they may be playing. You saw that in this game, Benzema produced a couple of brilliant moments out of very little. So Madrid will always have a chance and I believe that Madrid will score a Stamford Bridge next week. I don't doubt that. I will put both teams to score if I if I if I were to have a bet on it. I would put both teams to score next week. I just feel like it's going to be one of them games. Madrid for me will definitely score, but it's more about how Chelsea will control the game, how they will approach the game, and whether the Blues will simply outscore Madrid or not. They'll need to improve their finishing to do that, no doubt in my mind, of course. But the Blues have put themselves in a great position to progress to the final in Istanbul and have a great opportunity to make that a reality. But Madrid, over the course of 90 minutes, will be no easy task, of course. And no one is going to sit there and be so deluded to even accept that this will be a foregone conclusion. I backed Chelsea to go through in the last round when we talked about... Chelsea and Madrid both progressing to the semi-finals. If you look back at my at the video that I made where I talked about both uh, Chelsea and Madrid progressing to the semi-final stages, I did back Chelsea to be victorious in this round of fixtures and go on to the final in Istanbul. And honestly, I'm not changing my prediction on that. I still think that the Blues will progress. They will get the job done in the second leg. Some way, somehow, next week, 
I believe that Chelsea will go through to meet either Manchester City or PSG in the final. But it's going to be a very, very interesting and intriguing game next week at Stamford Bridge when these two teams clash again. But of course, as I always say, these are the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions of this guy. I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What did you make of this game? What do you make of next week's second leg encounter? Who progresses? Who gets knocked out? And also tonight, tonight's game, PSG versus Manchester City. How do you think that game will go? Who do you see winning tonight? Who do you see uh, going on to the final? Who, who makes the final two in Istanbul? And obviously then the big question, who do you think out of this final four go on to lift the Champions League this season? I'd love to know your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions down below in the comments section. I'm sure they'll all make for interesting reading as always. Um, and as always, thank, uh, hit that like button on the way if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated, of course. You guys know that. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will soon speak with you all again soon in another video.